Again. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you don't know notice anything new? You know? <laughs> you don't know notice anything new? You know? <laughs> no, I got a new phone or whatever because it was just time to upgrade. Like, I'm just really big on right now upgrading my life and my lifestyle, my energy, my everything, my mental, my 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 bank account, baby, my body. Like, I'm trying to build, bitch. Period. If you're not trying to build, if you're not trying to do something, or you're not trying to flourish, then I'm not blooming, bitch, in your season. I'm blooming in my own season, bitch. I am up and coming. I am the new motherfucking season, bitch. I had passed away. I don't know if y'all seen from the title of the last video. He was really old, so it wasn't like a like you know like a big like monumental like you know emotional thing. Like I'm not a really a big like crier. I'm not cold hearted or insensitive, but like. I just, I just try to look at the moment, not in that type of light, because like he was like really old and like you know he was on like bare rest and stuff like this. Like I just see it as like one generation of my family is gone or leaving, so I just need to make sure that my generation counts. Like that's how I'm looking at the situation. Like recently, I really been like you know just trying to make sure I'm doing stuff for myself to make sure like when my kids come after or like when I pass away, I want to make sure like I can leave my kids something. Like I want them to look at me and be like. We is fucking cool, like we is sad because the shit that shoots did to your motherfucker life. Like they probably wouldn't even know about half the shit. Probably YouTube would probably be dead or TikTok would probably been motherfucking ran all these hoes crazy. They out here just forever. <laughs> it was like I just wanna make sure like I know I wanna have kids one day. So watch y'all bitches come up. <laughs> No, I still never will do vagina. I'm not a, a vagina person. I definitely want to like procreate and recreate myself. I need another me in the world. Like there needs to be more. Just like y'all, y'all love me. Y'all fuck with a bitch. I fuck with a bitch. Why can't we another little bitch? So we all can fuck with. Like, I always used to say like, oh, I ain't never gonna have kids. Bitch, I want a kid now. And now I'm like, okay, not right now. Pipe down. Thirty something. No bad. Cause I got shit to do. I got albums to drop. Money to make. Bitch, I got bitches to me. I'm trying to start traveling so I can go and meet y'all. I really want to support the people that's fucking with me. And y'all already been fucking with me for a long time. I don't take it as like, oh, I'm that bitch, bitch, fuck. Because I, I already have a high confidence level because I have I carry myself. Like, y'all seen where I came from and who I used to be. I always was confident no matter how I looked. It wasn't on no like, oh, I'm too cute type shit. It was just like, bitch, regardless of how you look or regardless of how a bitch feel about you, bitch, you're that bitch. Simple. Like, We don't give a fuck about what the next bitch think, and that's why I always been my message for YouTube. Like, if a bitch messing with you, you don't always gotta be the motherfucking bigger person and walk away and let a bitch fuck with you. No! Tear that shit up! Like, period! I wanna travel and meet y'all, or I at least wanna do a meet and greet somewhere where it's like the biggest population of y'all, so like, I wanna get my merch on this shit out, and I wanna just make sure, like, you know, I'm putting out good content. Like, I know y'all want more other than Bankers Club shit, cause it's some people on here like, what the fuck the story time? What the fuck da da da? And I'm coming, bitch, I gotta get. My fucking outfit is custom made for my birthday. Duh. Duh. Only doing custom for the 21. You already knew that though. Because I don't even play them games. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Into the review video. But I just want to like talk about that really quick. Because I know a lot of people was like, sorry for your loss and stuff. Like, what's going on, insane gang? This is me. We're back in the motherfucking video, bitch. Today, we are back at it again with a bad gross club review. Episode 3. With this motherfucking conversation and these things said, I just want to go ahead and get into it. So we just kicked off the motherfucking episode. Let's just first talk about Sarah and this twerk in this intro. Like, I am kind of not fucking with the intro at all. Cringy, not bad girls, not like, it's just like, I don't know. Y'all tried to branch off a little too much. And it's, this is all like really irritating me. Like, that's why I was flushing the motherfucking toilet because this shit is going down the drain every episode. It was hype that y'all did that little three power punch thing, but like, This acting and how y'all trying to literally play it off face like that, like y'all can't act like y'all act like y'all been on motherfucking Academy, Grammy Award, or whatever. Like we can't tell that y'all being fake. Like we can surely tell like you're acting like you're not, y'all not, they're not really emotions. Like y'all awkward as hell, It's awkward ass silence, motherfuckers talking up. Like y'all gonna be scripted, can y'all be scripted and like actually follow the damn script? Why you scripted and you ain't scripted, girl? Script yourself, bitch. Like what's up? I need to go meet y'all. Like y'all, like, fuck. Now, um, Tanisha and Kristen like storming now, you know, she walk up in her like, nah, 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 nah. and then Sarah say, if y'all both, if y'all both eat peas and you gotta have the girls, it's better if like Tanisha have one half and Natalie had the other half. And I low key like fuck with that. When it came down to them saying like, 
Oh, you pay for the motherfucking makeup. You talking about so you can't pay for four people. Then why you talking? I don't understand. You talking about, oh, she needs to make sure all the girls good. If anybody's supposed to make sure the girls good is you girls seeing that you been on every single reunion talking about every bitch, how you they motherfucking mama and all this other shit. And all that you be doing is going on TV and fighting bitches. So why the fuck would she come in and start acting like Mother Goose, bitch, just because she on the house? No, that's your role, bitch. Play it. You can't even let Natalie be the fucking bad guy, which is her role. Natalie is the bad guy. You want Natalie be the bad guy and Mother Goose, bitch. You're off script, bitch. Off script. All of you hoes, it's off script. Flush it on the toilet. On kitchen, and Sydney said like, oh, Tanisha don't like you, Sarah. <laughs> like, Sydney is messy as fuck. Like, why would you just pop out and say that? Then go and stop Tanisha from leaving. She like, girl, just come back and shit. And then Natalie, like, you know, said her like, you know, girl, like, don't leave and shit. Like, I don't know what's the, the go catch Tanisha show. Like, we just gonna keep going and getting Tanisha from the door and bring her back whenever she wanna make, blow and make a temper change because you know she not gonna fight. You know she not gonna fight. <laughs> You know she's not gonna fight, but she gonna blow up and walk away and do all that whole thing because you know she's not gonna fight. Because you know she's not gonna fight. Because she just, you know she's not gonna fight. Like, she knows she's gonna fight. Anyways, she should say she can't pay for poor people makeup. Like, girl, if, if that was the case, like, you're making a big deal, like, oh, Natalie's supposed to take care of her. But, like, I, if Natalie got money, she got money, but. That don't make, make her responsible for taking care of every bitch when y'all coming on zoo. You think them bitches that motherfucking um, Jocelyn's Cabaret don't got hair and makeup people and shit? People beating their faces like, come on now. Y'all, Jocelyn's Cabaret is that shit. I'm sorry. Jocelyn Cabaret is that shit. On, on everything I love, Jocelyn Cabaret is really snapping right now. I don't know if it's just me, but it's giving me, it's giving me what it's supposed to, like the drama, the authentic, like, the just, it's just like the punches be like, bow. Like, these ain't no... Bitch, this like, go stop motherfucking smack smack like. Justin Cabaret, all fights. Come on now, hit the like button. I know y'all want it. Let's go, we. Let's fucking go. Then we go back to talking about her again, saying like, if she not, she a producer too, but she don't do too much like everybody else. And like she say that um, Tanisha got to contribute. Tanisha say she want to have a conversation with Sarah and Judy later. Basically, she came in and was like, oh, I got to talk to you. And I got to talk to you. Like, girl, why didn't you do this in the beginning? Why did you wait till all this shit popped off and happened? Like, if you knew it was going to be chaos, why you come in like, ooh, and ooh. Like, like it's such a big, like, big deal that you want to show. And you, you such a, oh, I have to come to the house. Oh, it's a drag. Then you should have came in like mother and talk to your kids separately so you can get the motherfucking story straight. And then after, you come and recollect these bitches as a whole after you got your facts. You come and get motherfucking Seven and Janelle love sneak peek or whatever the fuck they got. But you ain't talk to Natalie. Then you ain't talk to Christina. Then you could've talked to Judy. Then you could've talked to Sydney. Then you could've went about the situation like a bad bitch. What did she do? What did she do? That's why y'all need to motherfucking tag me to host them in the fucking reunion for Zeus. I promise y'all. It's gonna be a sometime. I'm gonna just tell everybody go tag me or something. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna make or some type of fly or something, but bitch, I need to host the reunion because I know how to get it together. I know how to make give the people what they want. Come on now. I've been doing it for years, bitch. So then Sydney tell out some, yeah, you need to go talk some sense into that bitch, basically talk about Judy. And then uh, Judy this she come out some, oh your dick is bigger than mine. And it's like Sydney girl, we try to normalize something. And I know you can't freely talk about what you talk about or what you have on your body, but girl, you don't need to be talking about my dick is bigger than like, girl, that's just putting an image in people's head that they are already trying to fight from seeing. So like, I'm not saying don't express yourself, but like, you ain't gotta go that far. Like, come on now, girl. Like, you just, you're not giving the girls a good name. Okay, like, this is also why I'm flushing the toilet because you need to serve. Like, you're the first transgender girl on TV. Serve. Like, Janelle. Janelle is... Serving, bitch. Janelle served this whole episode. That bitch looks so fucking good. I need to point that out. That bitch looks so good the whole episode. Whoever that hair and makeup person is, I'm seeing why Christina fighting for him. Cause bitch, I'll be fighting for that beat too, bitch. Bitch, do my, bitch, do my, do my, bitch, do my motherfucking makeup, bitch. I'm, bitch, do my motherfucking makeup. I'm not, bitch. Do my motherfucking makeup. Christina's still acting fucking crazy, slapping the motherfucking um, gloves and shit on the table, like yelling and shit. And it's just like, the more she doing it, it's just like, all right, if you on drugs, I know, I know, I, I mean, I live in Chicago. I seen crack kids. I know how motherfuckers look when they have drugs. I've been to motherfucking parties with straight ass niggas with guns and okay, all that other shit. Baby, my family is a little, you know, see how a person acting off drugs and a person that just acting off acting, bitch. You just like acting still up. Like, you ain't wobbling, bitch. You ain't, bitch, you ain't throwing your neck back, bitch. You ain't off nothing for real. Like, you trying to, everybody trying to make it seem like, girl, 
she just acting. She acting. Like, y'all talking about what drug is she off clout, bitch. She want a motherfucker to do something that's going to be memorable. And the bitch saying, fuck it, I'm act crazy. <laughs> bitch, you do it all the time. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it's just like... It's not, it's not, it's, 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 it's giving flush the toilet, no bad. Now that's when Natalie um, and Tanisha sit down and have a conversation. Basically, they tell me some, um, we can talk or, or we can box. That's what Tanisha say. I didn't, I didn't feel that vibe from the show. It didn't give me talk or box vibe. It gave me very, like, kiss Natalie's ass and try to make myself look like mother without doing nothing to be mother. Like, it just was very fake to me. Like, the conversation was very, like, Natalie's came in putting up the drinks and shit like, oh, I don't know what's gonna happen and I'm not trying to, like, girl, y'all know damn well y'all not finna throw no motherfucking bottles and y'all both EPs, like, y'all motherfucking co-workers is really recording y'all. It's awkward. I don't know, like, it's weird. Like, Christina did, Christina just walk back in out of nowhere and just like, you know, just walk in the scene. Like, what the, what's, What's the structure of the show? Tanisha tell Nani like, oh, it's just like always a different vibe in person. Like when you be out with um on, on, at home, you always want to laugh doing all this other shit. But then when you see us in person, it's that. But like, I don't understand what y'all want her to do. Do y'all want her to come in and act calm, or do y'all want her to act crazy? It's really favorite Natalie a lot. This show is actually like putting Natalie in like a I'm not as crazy as y'all bitches trying to make me seem like, and it's it's serving for her. No bad. Like it's it's. She having a cute role, but it's a lot of people on the show who roles is not, it's not given what it's supposed to give. It's one tip for tad, like when Tanisha say something, Natalie say something, and then it's like, oh, you did this and you did this, and then it's like, okay, so y'all just gonna go back from like y'all three years old, that's what the conversation was. Y'all could've just fought, fuck, like we not, nobody cares. Tanisha like, oh, this all started over the OnlyFans show, which y'all know was a scam. I wanna know why Natalie not talking about her scamming everybody. Like, you literally just came on TV like, Dr. Natana, like you ain't just scam all these bitches last week. It's the same scam that she's been flipping past weeks. <laughs> Shout out to my bitch Deborah, the real or the real. I don't know why that's not a topic on the show at all about how like she scammed all them people out all that money saying it was gonna be all this production and it wasn't. I guess we just moving right along, so they're just moving right along. Tanisha said that um you said that nobody gonna pay twenty dollars to see a fat bitch on OnlyFans. <laughs> Um, I don't remember Natalie saying that, but I think I heard somebody telling me that Natalie had said something like that. These niggas these days love teddy bear bitches. That is true. Niggas love them a big body being type of bitch. I love a big, like, nice, confident bitch. Like, I love a big, like, bitch that just, like, she knows she that bitch. She big as fuck. She walking herself. She don't gotta, like, overdo it to, like, try to, like, you know, get attention. It's like, she just a bad big bitch. Like, I love a bad big bitch, no doubt. And Tanisha do this whole bogus scripted Toodle, do toilet water, doodle splash ass thing where she's sitting trying to act like, oh, she's so hurt and like, oh, she wished that like she could never cut off Natalie because she got so much love for her and she just said it was so much. Like, I was literally sitting at work. My old ass co worker who is literally like 80 something years old turned around like, um, is that real? Is it like scripted? Like, what, like, is that supposed to be a real show? Because it sounds fake. <laughs> like, girl, even old lady clock, y'all, like, y'all not doing it how y'all think y'all doing it. I don't know what acting classes y'all thought y'all took before y'all did this, but mm -mm. get y'all refunds, get y'all money back. These acting and these crafts and these girl, how you, it's an inner cry, bitch. How you crying and you ain't crying? Like, where's the cry? Like, I see, I see a who, but I don't see a who. So then, Tanisha say she got a gift for Natalie and she running her bag and just Natalie like, oh, I hope it's not a gun. Like, I don't, I just, it's just giving very weird, awkward vibes. And she put out some fucking tiger bomb that old people use and rub on their muscles when they get sore. Like, put that shit on your back, bitch, so you can start smacking bitches and stop talking shit. Because you giving bitches tiger bomb, but you just yelling in whole faces. Sarah walking all up in your face, walking behind you, should have kicked that bitch. You try to kick that bitch on the floor. Bitch, stop following me, cause Camilla wouldn't have did Camila wouldn't have did none of that. She would have been on the fucking ground. Bitch, said, I don't want to talk to you, bitch. That bitch would have choked the fuck out of her ass, bitch. Like mother. Cast my bitches. Like they need to do this again, but they need to cast the right bitches and they need to go through go through it like how Johnson Cabaret was. Like if y'all was gonna make Natalie like a host, then she shouldn't have been a part of the cast. If y'all was gonna make her a part of the cast, then she shouldn't have been like a host. Like y'all got her playing two different roles and it's really not making the show good. Now they apologize and they hug it out, and then that was kind of awkward because Tanisha calling Natalie like a rock star and she like you worked so hard for this and da 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 da. Call her beautiful and like you slay. You're a bad bitch when she was just talking about her. And she wants shit, she was an unfit mother. Like, I don't, I never, I don't know many bad bitches that don't take care of their kids. She don't take care of her kids, but I don't know many bad bitches that are unfit mothers. Like, 
if you are if you if you're a bad bitch you got all your shit in order around the board i feel like natalie do but it's like tanisha doing too much i need to talk she want to do a bad girl fit boot camp she need to how she was probably pushing christina ass y'all know fucking natalie is a big motherfucking like big fitness guru she got a whole fitness company so like i don't know why bitch is trying to square up with her like christina girl i i feel like y'all almost fought again in this episode and i kind of got the feeling that she was a little bit more ready bitch you had your sweats on so i want to see y'all give give me my one again when y'all get to reunion like i was talking that shit on that bgct page somebody wait till i see with the reunion bitch y'all need to get y'all one and i want no security i just want y'all to get y'all one literally like i want to get y'all one when they um talk about they're gonna do a talent show with prizes and probably money or hair and makeup like now they being shady or whatever i mean I do feel like Christina is right. Natalie do do that thing where she want to act like mother, but then she want to turn around and be like the cast member at the same time. It's like, I don't know. Y'all got to pick y'all roles and y'all acting guru gig that y'all done threw together because this shit is not it. Like this OnlyFans is a flop. This is a flop. Like throw that shit in the toilet. So Tanisha tell myself, okay, now she going to be more involved and now she going to actually like try to you know get the girls together. Like girl, you should have been doing this in the beginning. I don't know why it's episode three and now you all of a sudden trying to be more involved and better be like you should have came into this doing this and this we would have been better off. There would have been a fight still, but it would have been a fight with some type of like substance to it. Like it would have been like an actual like it would have been more smooth. Like it just felt like this was just a uh, like y'all just needed some beef. Like hair and makeup, it was quick. I don't know if y'all was gonna script this shit, y'all should have scripted the right way. That's all I wanna say. You should go and hit the um posh and shit. Tell me she wanna go to church and um she wanna do all this. She like not teach like she wanna go to church and then she smoked the damn posh and hit the fucking posh hard and said to me, "Are you trying to kill me?" Like it's not funny. It's it's really corny. Like corn corn ball corn ball it's giving me real like corn on the cob you know like popcorn like give me cream corn like just corny like corny as fuck like i don't know what's the like the corn like the children of the corn like this this is very much so give me children of the corn y'all should have renamed the show you don't want to be come on camera because i heard not doing did Sydney like come on show this bitch she fucked up show her show her how fucked up she looked. um so judy in her room getting her makeup done or whatever or finally doing something to herself Productive. She don't want nobody to see her before her makeup done because she's going to be embarrassed. Like, girl, you should have been embarrassed. You've been looking at a mess since the damn cameras came on. And now all of a sudden, you all of a sudden care about how you look and your appearance when you came to the damn motherfucking cast and shoe, a cast and runway carpet with a damn G-string and a damn little ass halter top that was connected in the middle. Like... You was on a workout video or something. Why all of a sudden you just feel like, oh, now I'm going to be, you know, trying to figure out why I'm looking at mask or I'm trying to be, you know, scared of looking at the camera when you've literally been sitting in front of us with a whole bunch of baby hair stacked on top of your forehead. Like, your baby hair was never, ever lately. I don't know if that's how the wig is, like, made or, like, that's just, like, your style, but... It's a lot of bitches in Chicago with their hair like that. So if you're trying to represent Chicago in a lot of ways, because a lot of bitches with fat ass tattoos do not play with Chicago. There's a lot of girls with some fat ass hairstyles. But it's a lot of girls. You go over east, you go out south, you go out west too. Girl, they hair look just like Judy's. <laughs> um, sitting in like a beauty supply bullshit ass bitch and calling her cheap as fuck and all this other shit. Like, Judy is one for the reads. Like, Sydney might be transgender, she might be a trans girl, but Judy reads down. She reads like a Chicago, Chicago girl. Like, Chicago girls and gay boys get along so well because Chicago girls have a really smart mouth and gay boys have a really smart mouth. They can have that little combative, like, arguing attitude. Like, you can tell, like, I don't really don't feel like they got no hate towards each other. Like, I don't feel like Sydney actually want to hurt Judy and Judy actually want to hurt Sydney feelings. It's just all for the TV, but I'm not fucking with that in a sense, but at the same time, it's more entertaining than fucking Tanisha and Natalie fucking fake ass acting like at least they literally can act like they mad she just keeps telling her like you'll never be a bad girl and saying like you got a mustache and then that's when sydney was like girl i heard you gonna shave your mustache in the night so who's really the trans woman like basically just calling her a man and all this other stuff it's just like girl they they the trans jokes is very like edgy so i feel like you know just because they had the trans jokes and um one, one more chance with that girl basically everybody thought she was a man i feel like they just trying to like spin off of that so i guess like you know they're trying to like break barriers i guess like let and the girls openly like disrespect trans women so hey i guess that's what's going on so sarah then takes it upon herself to come in the room again and talk about her hair and makeup and how you know do you know when y'all was arguing about this the whole time my hair and makeup is already done because i do it myself i don't know if she's trying to become an MUA or like what it, what is this like her promotional process but she has been saying this over and over again for like three three episodes she has said it in every single episode are you trying to like get yourself booked or like what's going on because like 
you you saying that you do your own makeup, but you be looking like Michael Jackson. R.I.P. Michael Jackson. I'm sorry that that's very rude, but. She looks like Michael Jackson. When Sydney say Judy an alcoholic and all she wanted to do was get a free check and sit down and drink all day. I mean, that's what I thought the Bad Girls Club was. The bitches getting crazy, fighting, getting drunk, and getting paid to do it. So I don't know why she like, you know, this not the different program just because it's baddies ATL. Judy came to do what Judy came to do, and that's what Judy gonna do was, was just get drunk. I mean, shit, she not wrong. Now they like, why is it a broom in the um bed? And Judy like, um, oh she a witch. And Sydney like, oh she a witch. I'm living with a witch. If it's some voodoo, voodoo or something on me when I leave this fucking house. Blame this bitch because it's her fault. They just funny as hell at this point. Really just going back and forth, giving the people what they want, just arguing, 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 because they probably hear Natalie and Christina in the other room arguing. So they're like, okay, let's argue too. Cindy say, oh no, she not with all that voodoo shit. She's team God. And like, she better not put no hocus pocus on her. She gonna pop her ass, all this other shit, girl. Judy's talking about the bitch. You look so dumb. Like, you was embarrassed. How the fuck you throw liquor, then slip on it? Like, Judy is funny as fuck because I remember when she put that Raymond tracks. I don't know why this makes me think about that when she slipped. But when she fucking like Graham tries to run up on her and then she grabbed her hand and her track just came out like this is it, the 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 clips give you the same energy. I don't know why, but they really really do. Judy say, "Woo, look at your arms. You work out, don't you?" <laughs> she said, "Woo, look at them arms. You work out, don't you?" <laughs> Judy is reading down this episode. Like Judy, well, I'm not fucking with the home public comments, but Judy is. Bitch, I feel like I was Wendy Williams, bitch. Judy is really like reading like for this motherfucker episode. Like she is really putting Sydney in her motherfucking place again. Like this is the second time Sydney has came for Judy and Judy has literally obliterated that bitch. Now they got um Christina coming in to Seven and Janelle on the motherfucking balcony. First thing first, Janelle looks so fucking good, bitch. Like David Janelle looks good. Like this episode, Janelle looked really, really pretty the whole time. She gave me what I needed to get. She's not giving me old time Janelle with the splits and the raggedy bundles. Like, she is, she bossed up, no babs. She gave me big boss tech babs. Christina says she needs to redeem herself for acting crazy. And then Sydney say give her some time. She's not smoking and she got a big blood, like a well on her head. So I'm guessing from that's from when she fought Natalie. She said Natalie ain't put no mark on her, but that well was not right there when she first walked in the house. Am I wrong? Was that well right that before she fought Natalie? So that means Natalie marked that bitch face. So that means, uh, dun, 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 I don't want to hear nothing else. Natalie want to fight, bitch. If you beat a bitch and you put a mark on that bitch, you beat a bitch. I'm sorry, like, and if you if you use a weapon while you fighting a bitch and you mark the bitch, then you didn't win. Okay, yeah, but I'm saying if it's hands and hands and you put hands on that bitch and they some motherfucking mark after you leave your motherfucking mark on that bitch, you won. I'm sorry, she won. I'm sorry, Christina, you got your ass to be. I'm just, it's giving, she gave what you're supposed to give. I been talking about Seven and Janelle, like when I was saying she looked good and shit. Um, they say they're basically um, recapping their night and talking their shit about, you know, what was going on that night. And then Seven talking about Tanisha is dramatic and unstable. And like, you know, she just be acting crazy out of nowhere. And I, I, I see where she get that from. But it's like, she act crazy to a point before she don't have to fight. Like, she act crazy like a mama acting out like a, wow. Oh, Cause you know, when your mama mad, she just lash on everybody for no fucking reason. Like, your mama can't just be mad at one person. If everybody in this bitch, everybody getting yelled at. So it's like that. Like she do it in a point where it's like she'll be talking to one person, but then she'll try to like yell loud enough for everybody feel like they getting like scolded. So don't nobody beat her ass. So <laughs> no seven say Tanisha gonna fall through the floor if she keep running around stumping like that. That was funny to me because baby Tanisha be bitch Tanisha be moving bitch. She be get the fuck away from me. <laughs> so. Seven say, um, so Christina walk in and she basically just explained herself about what happened the last night. She got her sweatsuit on, so I'm guessing her and Natalie finna get into it. As soon as I seen that bitch with that two-piece sweatsuit on, I said, oh, that bitch finna fight. That bitch woke up, saw that motherfucker made out of her motherfucking forehead. was like, oh, I gotta get this bitch. She said, oh. Oh, okay, bitch, I got you. Let me put my motherfucking sweatsuit on. Come out some, um, it was a battle with the egos, and her and Natalie should have never got into it because, like, they ego so big, and Natalie want to be so big, and she's talking about she needs somebody to vent to because she never, get, like, get people to vent to. And then she said she didn't know that the rules had changed with the makeup because of Natalie just getting it done for herself because she had him previously booked. But I'm just saying, girl, if you had him previously booked and you didn't pay him your money, you shouldn't expect a good response when you see him again. I mean... I, I'm giving both sides on both sides because Christina did say that Natalie set the tone to what was going on and if, like, if she didn't like just pop out and act, start acting crazy, then maybe like they would have never had got into it because he probably would have just not cared. But since he's seen that opportunity, he's like, okay, bitch, I could be in some drama, duh. A uh, duh, he gonna run with this shit and be like, yeah, nah, bitch, you not getting your makeup done. Of course, because he already want to get some man light and already want to get some shan, so I don't know if that was, that was their way of incorporating him into it because Natalie do be tagging him on Instagram a lot and like, you know, promoting him. And Regardless, it was at Christina's expense. So, yeah, you should have paid him your money, but Natalie, girl, you should have managed your business. If you're going to be mother, be mother in all ways. And, like, you know, 
if you're gonna say you scold her about doing it, okay, then make sure she finds somewhere else to get her makeup done. Don't just be like, oh, nah, bitch, find you something to do, and then just walk off if you're supposed to be mother. That's not how mothers run, baby. Mothers scold their kids, but then they wipe their ass out. Um, Christina's just going on explaining herself more and more, saying how she was drunk, and then Janelle just like, I don't feel like she was drunk. I don't give a fuck. That bitch do lands in her ass. She be out here, you know, bitch sticking needles in her back when she be sleep. Like, she said basically that Christina be out here doing some type of girl, some type of something that ain't supposed to be doing done. And she said she needs to flush that. And when you flush stuff, that means you don't want the police to see it. And that's not weed, because weed is legal. So whatever she doing, Zeus needs to pick it up. Because I'm pretty sure it's some type of regulation about having bitches on motherfucking types of drugs on TV. So if that's what's going on, y'all need to get that bitch out of control. And if y'all need to stop playing with her because crackheads know how to fight. Simple crackheads will beat the dog shit out you. So Natalie, I don't give a fuck how, how many squats you did in the back, how many lions you didn't lift it up and put it on your back. But if that bitch do that motherfucking good what she do and she come for you, bitch, get ready. That's all I'ma say. Get ready. Christina said like she don't remember the night, and they said that um Seven said like she called her fake, and like you know Christina had apologized for it, and like they had this whole like kumbaya scene, and then Janelle was like you know I want y'all to sit down and talk, and want her Natalie like you know to talk about like why they got differences and shit. Natalie girl, you, Janelle girl, you being messy girl, you're very much so trying to start the pot and shake it up, but you trying to do it in like a really cute girl way. So I'm living. I'ma let you have it because you look cute while you doing it. But you tr really trying to shake it up, girl. You trying to start a pot. You know damn well they not finna sit in nobody with Rome and have no conversation after this bitch got a fat ass. May not mark a boot on her motherfucking forehead. Girl, she not trying to talk about nothing. <laughs> like, come on now. Um, Natalie just talk up, started talking about last night. Talk about how her and Tanisha had squashed the beef and they both fake cried. And it's like, they basically just kumbaya, my lord. And then she brought up, started talking shit about Tanisha again right after she said she squashed the beef. And then started talking shit about Tanisha right after she said that. So, hey, fake bitches do what fake bitches do. Um, she started talking about Christina and how she she thinks she was crazy and she said telling Natty like oh she don't believe that she was drunk basically just talking shit again because it's like girl if you believe that when she said that out her motherfucking mouth when she was like well I was drunk you should have been like girl no like that's not how drunk people act like I don't know what you was on but I feel like you was on some nails girl like uh uh like that's how you gotta come at a bitch like even if that's like that's your friend like that's how you gotta come back to Twitch you just gotta be like like girl I don't feel like you was just drunk last night like I feel like you probably did something and that stuff has you acting crazy and you just need to not do that no more girl like I know we friends or whatever but I'm gonna just tell you like I don't like that look like that's how you, you if you're a real bitch you go around real bitch she like a real bitch don't go run into Natalie and be like oh no I think that bitch doing crack I think that bitch doing like uh uh Janelle I didn't fuck with that but I still fuck with you you still sitting so you get a pass cause you pretty bitch pretty bitches get passes Christina and Natalie sit down and had a little conversation or whatever finally shit after everybody didn't talk about it Christina walk in like a motherfucking gangster bitch she got her sweatsuit on her hat bitch she like she came to bang like she came to bang Natalie instantly just come into the conversation aggressive like I just feel like Natalie like she is aggressive talking ass bitch but like Christina was really being calm the whole conversation like I feel like it was really like Natalie was being the aggressor again like she was just really getting ag 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 aggressive as fuck just overly aggressive just like like she just be talking down to bitches like she's somebody mama and then like Christina was just saying like yeah like I understand like kind of like agreeing with her I, don't, I didn't even feel like she was being sarcastic I really feel like she was actually like agreeing with what she was saying and then Natalie was just like getting mad like that bitch just started growling and shit. It's like, oh, bitch, you fucking uh huh. And that me, bitch, you trying to be sorry, bitch, you trying to be sarcastic, bitch. Going the fuck off. Natty saying that like she shouldn't have called everybody fake last night on that whiteboard, and she put it up saying everybody was fake. She didn't just call her fake, but I feel like everybody is being fake. Like, was Christina wrong? Did she lie? Was everybody not acting fake in the fucking house? Like they is on a like some type of like just, I don't know. It's like a script, a bad storyline that's not playing out right. I don't know. It's just not. It's not coming out how y'all think it's coming out. And I think Christina was drunk and was just like over the whole thing and was just wanted to fight. So I mean, I don't think she was wrong. Natalie, um, again talking about like, oh, you went on laugh talking shit, and then Christina like, girl, you the queen of laughs. Like all you do is go laugh and talk shit. It's like how you trying to get on laugh and trying to act like, you know, like. I can't go on laugh and say my piece when you go on laugh all the time talking shit. So like, she kind of ate her with that because Natalie do be going laugh talking her shit. So Christina, um, they both just not carrying well. Like they start clapping hands and of course Natalie hop up on some gangster shit. Like Christina not finna hop up on that with her ass and then they instantly finna fight again. Christina girl, you should have crunched her shit. You should have crunched her shit. Y'all, my camera's finna die. Christina, you should have crunched her shit. I'm saying next time you see every time that bitch in your face, you need to knock her. Next time. So, girl, next time smack the dog shit out of her for real cause, cause Natalie girl you giving me too much now Like you wanna be big barking like a wolf But then you be surprised when a bitch snatch your wig off Cause you wanna hop up like this 
And bitch, I don't know. Like, girl, who the fuck finna just sit in your face and let you do that? That's the motherfucker video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, y'all. Follow my social media. This is my TikTok, my Instagram, my Snapchat for more of me just doing my shit. I'm that bitch. Come on now. See more BGC videos and Jocelyn Copperay all fights. Make sure y'all like this motherfucking video. My camera's about to die. I'm about to edit and put this up today. So make sure y'all just subscribe, like, all that good shit. I love y'all. And stay gang. Since we out. <laughs>